Right, I'm going to cover how to do a tire change on a manual tire changer. Um, uh, the, what you want to do is you first want to get the tire to rest, the rim to rest on the inside of this area on the tire changer. So you can you can pretty much take the tire and then just and just put it on like that. That's that's going to get you pretty much where you want to be. You can see on the inside if you look in there, um, the rim's going to end up just on that that little notch. And then what you want to do is you want to take the, the bead breaker and you want to kind of line it up on the tire where it's going to go. Um, before you do all the bead breaking and whatnot, you want to make sure you let the air out of the tire itself so you can get one of these valve stem removers and you want to just take out the, the valve that's in there. Um, this is like a Schrader valve assembly, so you're going to just unscrew it and then you're going to take out the I think I can show you that, that's going to let all the air out of it. Once you do that, um, you can take that bead breaker and put it down onto the rim where it's going to end up sitting. And you can grab the, you can grab the longer pole at this point and you can, you can put that on there because you're going to need that to, to break the bead. The first thing you're going to do is, is break the bead on this side and then you're going to break the bead on the other side. So once you get the, the bead breaker kind of in there, um, you're going to take the long handle, you're going to put it on, it's going to look just like this. I haven't pushed down on the bead yet, but I'm going to do that now. So basically that's, that's breaking the bead, and you want to do that on both sides of the tire. And you want to take the rim and spin it 180 degrees on this side first, break you know both, both ends, and then flip the rim and do the other side, and then break both ends of that side. All right, now that I've gotten both sides of the rim broken away, uh, the beads broken on the rim from the tire in the rim area, you're going to put this um, assembly on top. There's a little bracket that goes on, and then you want to make sure that your rim is in the, the um, there's a little stud that sticks out that keeps the rim from turning when you're actually taking the tire off. And there's a little bracket that holds it, and this just screws down. And then you torque it down with the, with the handle they give you. I don't have to go too crazy on this, just enough to get it snug. One of the things you're going to want to do is get some uh, soapy water in a spray bottle, just like this. And you're going to want to spray around the rim area. Um, this just actually uh, lets the tire slide around a lot easier. They also sell an oil that you can buy for changing tires, and it just allows the tire to move around a lot easier on the rim. I'm trying to get it off and put it back on. I'm going to go ahead and spray that. So this part here is, is key. You want to take the flat side of the bar and put it on just like that. You've got the flat edge underneath the rim. Sorry, underneath the tire and over the rim. And then at that point, it's really easy. You're just going to turn, you're going to turn the bar. So you can, see, you can see what you're doing. See the rim and the tire are starting to separate and the tire is over the rim. You're going to go around the whole rim like that. Once you go around the whole rim, the tire is going to be off on that one side. Really, really easy. You've just gone around clockwise. Um, when you go around, you can lift it up on an angle like this. So you go over the stud that's holding the, the rim on the machine itself. So you're going to go like this, go right around it. I've already done that, so it's already off, but that's, that's as simple as it is. Same thing on the other side of the, of the tire. You're going to pull the tire up just like this. You're going to get the flat side of the, of the tire uh, iron and you're going to put it underneath the tire and in between the rim and you're going to go around once once I do that the entire tire will get off the rim okay the tires off the rim uh, it's about I would say about uh, two or three minutes I was able to um, take this tire completely off the rim and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this tire up and get it ready for a tube okay tires all cleaned up um, I like to pull it out and just hose it all down with a hose I, this one had some slime in there, so um, it made a big mess. You know, obviously it, go, it goes everywhere. But uh, there is, I have this attachment for the forks that I have a pallet and I have the machine bolted down to the pallet. So I can take tires off, pull the machine outside, take the garden hose and just um, wash down everything. And it's really, really easy and clean that way. You know, bring it back in, all clean. And then first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check the tire. Um, the big thing with tubes, and this is obviously, if you're not putting a tube in a the tire, then this isn't a big deal. But 
if you're gonna put a tube in the tire, any tire, always check the inside for nails. Um, sometimes what happens is you'll get a nail that goes into the tire and they just cut, somebody cuts the nail on the outside flush or it gets ground down flush and you have no idea it's even in the tire. And if the nail is kind of coming through and it's gonna poke the, it's gonna poke the tire tube and the first thing that's gonna happen after a couple turns is that it's gonna puncture the tube and then you're gonna be in the, in the same situation with the flat tire. So check the inside of it with your hand, go around the inside, you know, feel for nails uh, sticking through, anything sharp sticking through. You wanna pull that out first and then um, you should be good. And I'm gonna actually put this on uh, with the tube in it. And so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the, the tire back on halfway and then you just tuck the tube in there and then you put the, the rest of the tire on with the, with the tire iron. Okay, tire's back on on one side. Um, next step is I'm gonna actually pull the tire up like this on one, on one edge and then I'm gonna tuck the tube in there and then once the tube is in, pull it through the hole for the, for the valve and then you're gonna, you're gonna put the last part of the tire on. Okay, I've got uh, the tube is in the, in the tire and um, the one tip I can offer is that this is a, um, a tire uh, fill tube uh, wrench. So this spins on to the end of the, end of the fill tube. The reason why you want to put this on there is because when you when you put the deflated tube inside the tire, uh, once it's inside the rim area and you're trying to put the top part of the tire back on the rim, this tube will want to go you know inside the rim further, and this the the actual fill tube will drop in there, and you won't be able to get to it. But if you put this uh, wrench on here which just spins on the end. It, it lets you kind of do what you want with the tire without having to worry about trying to grab that fill, that fill valve afterwards. So that's, that's a big tip and that's a big time saver because you'll have to pull the tire off again just to get to the fill valve to push it through the hole in the rim. Uh, but other than that, uh, the biggest thing on this was just take your time and you want to use, you always want to use a bottle of soapy water. So, um, you can go to any store and put a, you know, two or three squirts of uh, dish uh, soap into a bottle of water. And then you're gonna spray down any area that you plan on um, using where, where the tire goes on the rim. That's the biggest thing with tires, changing tires on anything, on any rim is make sure you've got either soapy water or they sell an oil that you can put on there as well, which works even better. Um, the oil makes kind of a mess. I like the water and the soap because it evaporates and there's there's no mess. But this is this is it. Uh, total time on this was probably half an hour, and that was all the time to to wash all the slime out of the out of the rim and the tire, take the tire completely off, and then check it for nails in the inside that were not visible from the outside to make sure the tube doesn't get punctured, and then putting the tube in and then putting the tire back on the actual rim. That was about a half an hour total time. And, and that's, that's pretty much it. You can do this um, with anything you want as far as uh, ATVs, lawnmowers, um, tractors. And again, I wouldn't recommend this for my cars just because you see the edge of the rim. It's gonna get scuffed up quite a bit. Not in the rim where it's painted so much. That's not gonna really get touched. Uh, no scratching inside the rim. It's just the top edge of that rim is where um, you're gonna use the tire iron against that a lot. And you can, you can do this, a lot of people do this on the other side of the rim for that reason. So uh, this side of the rim on a tractor, not a big deal, but if this was something that was, um, you know, really clean and brand new, you'd wanna do the whole thing on the other side of the, of the rim. That way the tire iron's hitting up against the side that you don't see, which is inside the vehicle or the piece of equipment versus the outside, right? But for me, um, this tractor, you know, you don't really notice it because it's already had somebody in here over the years that changed tires against it, so it's not a big deal. And again, it didn't really, it didn't scratch at all on the inside of the rim where the paint, the yellow paint is. Uh, that, that's my, that's my um, start to finish on this, and hopefully this is helpful to you. If you're thinking about getting your own manual tire changer, you know, for the money and the convenience, it's well worth it. Uh, especially if you've got stuff that's not your vehicle you're working on, tractors, ATVs, lawnmowers, UTVs, RTVs, all that stuff you can do. Really easy, really convenient, and uh, you'll, be, you'll be happy that you can do it yourself. Okay, that's about it.